welcome back friends in today's video we are making over this beautiful table now the client wants a two-tone finish so we are going to paint the apron and the best white and then we are going to stain the top and do a nice heavy distressing on this now there are chairs that go with this set however you will have to wait until next week's video otherwise this video would be way too long so the first thing that we're going to do is replace the leaf in the table. This way we finish and paint everything at the same time so that it's all uniform and cohesive. The first thing we're going to do is clean the top and get some of this gloss off of it using a liquid sander. Now you do want to wear gloves for this per instructions on uh, the bottle. Okay, uh, so I've done the cleaning with the uh, liquid sander. I've gone over it several times and I think it should be pretty good now. So what I'm going to do is sand um, a lot of this damage off so that I can get close to the original wood grain as possible because we are going to stain this uh, very beautiful gray stain. So I'm using my Obito sander and I have 120 grit sanding paper and I'm just going to take my time and go over this as many times as necessary to get most of the water damage off of this so that way when we apply our stain everything will be nice and even and it will just look very beautiful. So come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river and get down on your knees. So whenever I'm staining, I always like to start by using a wood conditioner. So in this case, I'm using the Minwax Pre-Stain Wood Conditioner. And this just really helps the new stain adhere really well. And it helps the wood absorb it much better. And then you got me chasing you like I'm the one to play. So here we are the next day, um, I let this coat dry overnight. Now it still wasn't taking like I wanted to so what I did was brush the stain on as if it was a paint and I didn't wipe it back. And so I'm really happy with how it's coming along now. I'm finally feeling confident that I'm on the right track. So I am scared to move this thing outside uh, because the weather's looking a bit gloomy and um, I don't want to risk. The, uh, the chance of it raining while I'm working but I do want to go ahead and do my second coat on here because this is an oil based product so it's going to take time to dry and I need to be able to get these back to the client by Monday and today is Wednesday uh, so I'm going to do another coat on top 
And then while that's drying, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, paint the skirt. I think I might be able to spray the, the best, but I'll go ahead and grab the brush and uh, start painting the skirt. This is going to be white. And then I think we'll be on track to have this completed in time for pickup on Monday. I'm going to use the DIY paint to go ahead and start painting um, the skirt and then depending on the weather tomorrow I will take the best outside and I'll spray it using my paint sprayer but uh, just so that I can make good use of the time I'll go ahead and brush this on today. I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Okay, so I did go ahead and paint the skirt And I'm really happy with how it turned out uh, Since I was already on the floor I figured I'll go ahead and paint the best So I've done one coat already I just brush painted it Since I was already down here so I'm going to give it a second coat and actually this will be, I'd say, 75% done. Um, I still have to do a top coat on the top and the best. Two different top coats need to be used. And so I also need to do some distressing on the best. But overall, we're making good progress. So praying for sunshine tomorrow so I can let it sit out on the grass and just dry properly. Uh, but so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the second and hopefully final coat. I don't see any bleed through so far, so I think we'll be alright. But I will keep an eye on it to see if I do have any bleed through, and if I do, I will just use some shellac to tackle it. But for now, we're gonna do second coat, and then that will be all. Listen to my heart, I'm gonna leave it all behind. Find myself, I'm gonna start over new. Yeah. Okay, so the table is officially done. Um, I do have to go ahead and distress it. I'm a little under the weather. So it's really hard for me to talk right now. But I've been working through this because I do want to stay on timeline and get this back to my client according to the schedule that we set. Um, so all that's left to do is distress it. Now she does want uh, mild to heavy distress. So I'm going to use uh, my sanding block 120. Um, I did think about using the orbital sander, but I want to have more control over the distressing So I'm going to use my sanding block and uh, we'll see how that goes So I'm going to sand the apron and the best and then I'm going to go ahead and seal it Okay, so I'm using my uh, Moon Wax Polyurethane and I've already poured some out into this cup and I mixed a little bit of the stain that's on the table and this way, if the polyurethane starts to kind of yellow because it is an oil-based product, it will not turn yellow because it's tinted. 
All right, friends, so here is the finished table. Remember to come back next week so that you can see the process for the chairs. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you do have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to get back to you guys. Otherwise, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Could wear a blind